One of the first situations we look at in, uh, in situations of the first law is in an isobaric process. Uh, iso means same and baric means pressure. But if we look at the first law, there's no pressure here. This is just the internal energy. We've got some heat and we've got some work. So we need to do a little bit of derivation. Work is force times distance. Uh, we're dealing with gases. Force is pressure times area. So this turns into, uh, actually this is F delta X. P A delta X. Area times a delta X is a volume. And now I've got pressure and volume. And we can take a look at that on PV graphs. So if I can look at my gas, so here is my PV graph. I've got some pressure running up this side, volume across the bottom, uh, volume, pressure. So in a isobaric process, because work is that delta x and there's this delta floating out here, what we're going to do is we're going to push that delta. I want the P to not change, P, delta V. But now I want this not from the work done on my system, but by my system. So this is the work done on my system. So I want the work done by my system, which is the negative to the work done on my system. So this needs to be negative. So the work done by a gas is negative P delta V. So what does that look like here? So if I start here at P initial, V initial, and I'm going to move isobarically, I want to go this way. So then how much work is done? Wait, work is F delta X. This is P delta V. Work is always the area under the curve. So this is how much work that's being done. So I can move this around. So now my first law looks like this. So the change in internal energy is the amount of heat that's moved minus P delta V.